Editing items in the linked parts. Since the score and parts are initially linked, edits to the score automatically apply to the parts. However, many items in the parts, such as expressions, text, and formatting, can be edited independently. In order to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to split my computer screen so we can view changes to both a score and a part as I make them. To do this, click on the Window menu, New Window. Then click on the Window menu again, Tile Windows Horizontally. I'll have the score showing in the bottom window. I'll click on the top window to make it active and then scroll to the Violin 1 part. Editing items in a single part. If you make changes on a single instrument part, the change affects that part only. Using the selection tool, if I click on a non-note marking, like a dynamic, expression, or text, and move it, it will turn yellow. This item is now unlinked between the score and the part, which allows independent positioning between the two. If you wish to relink the item in the part to the same location as it is in the score, right-click or control-click on the item and choose Relink to Score. Editing items in all of the parts at one time. Since the score is the host document, any changes you make from the score can be applied to all parts at one time so you don't have to format each part separately. From the score, use the selection tool to edit a marking or text item. I'll use the composer name as an example. Click and drag the composer name to the desired location where you want it to appear in all of the parts. As you are dragging, note that the composer name in the Violin 1 part is moving also. Context click on the same marking you just moved and choose Unlink in all parts. The marking turns yellow and is no longer linked between the score and parts, which means it has independent positioning. Click on the unlinked marking and move it into the desired position where you want it to be in the score. When you scroll through the parts to preview your edit, Notice that the composer name placement is identical in all of the parts, just above the first music system. When the Symphony 28 part layouts are complete, save your work. That's Control S on Windows, Command S on Mac. Close only one of the split screen windows and restore the remaining window to full size on your screen. To print the score and parts, click on the File menu, Print. To print all of the parts and score, click the Check All button. To print selected parts, check the boxes for the parts and score that you want to print. Type in the number of copies for each and click OK.